Ask Reddit by W1Lib. If zombies took over the world where would you go to be safe? If zombies took over the world, then who am I kidding they'd get me in the first wave. I'm using this thread for intel on how to hunt the rest of you down once I've become part of the great undead. All these people sound delicious. Nowhere, you are strongly overestimating my will to live. I bet zombies don't have to wake up at 6.30am and pay taxes. The living room. To zombies, everywhere else is the dining room. I'll just stay in New Zealand thanks. We are too far away from the rest of the world for them to be bothered coming down here. In World War Z they get to Yol by walking along the seafloor from Australia and clambering up the side of the underwater mountain below the coastline. Costco. Lots of food and supplies. Plus the zombies won't be allowed in unless they show their Costco cards. I'm sure you and another 2000 people had the same idea. That's dead man's land, son. Since they eat brains, my former workplace would probably act as a cloaking device. If they do eat brains I might as well continue to live my normal life. Somewhere in the mountains, because. Narrow, easy to control access roads. Sparse population, slower spread of the disease. Access to clean water, mountain rivers and springs. Access to electricity, either through using existing or building my own hydro power plant. That or a nuclear icebreaker. Okay if you can get on a nuclear ship of any kind, I think you win. I haven't seen zombies who can drive boats and know how to do boarding raids. Large bridge, massive barricades on each entrance, lots of ropes to lower down boats to come and go. Actually really smart. And you have access to two land masses which kind of hedges your bets. Canada and Russia. Zombies would freeze during half the year. No wonder every zombie move has happened during the summer. In World War Z the book the zombies would freeze during the winter but thaw out and reanimate on the warm weather. To the Winchester, have a nice cold pint, and wait for this all to blow over. I don't know it has some large windows, are you sure it's safe? Zombies could drag an Irishman through those windows. I think we should head to sea parks. There's an actual civil war 48 miles away. All walls still standing, original huge ass doors. Moat. Functional cannons. Almost surrounded by water. USCG station directly next to it. Fort make an NC for those interested. Yeah an older fortification like this is a good idea. Caha Castle, near me in Ireland is an intact medieval castle complete with moat and a fresh water spring inside the walls, plus enough enclosed space to start a garden and or keep goats. Sturdy stone walls that saw off plenty of armors before artillery became a thing should keep the zombies out while we grow as much food as we can. Costco. Endless aisles, towering shelves and enough canned goods to last through multiple apocalypses. Plus, zombies might get lost in the labyrinth of bulk items, giving you time to stock up on essentials. First stop, a Mormon church for a roster of members. I want to know the exact address of all households with one year of food supplies. Do people of the Mormon church have one year's worth of food supplies? I grew up at a block of flats and I've had a plan since I was a kid. The block is a perfect square of buildings and each block is accessible from the roofs. All the bottom floor stairs can be taken out and all access points can be blocked. We would have noise alarms that we could set to shift the zombies to the other sides while we exit and loot round the area. I don't know why Frank and Hannah left. Maybe a weird answer, but my local scout troop building. They have axes, saws, tents, a generator, chlorine tablets to purify shit, first aid kit, propane, a lot of material you would need to start an actual survivor group. That's a great answer dude. Nice try, 
Zombie. Depends on what zombies Minecraft zombies 3 meters into the air, like on a roof or SMTH, since although they can't infect me, I do not want to lose all my loot. God I hope they are shambling zombies, I really need to work on my long distance cardio. I would go to my crazy neighbor with a white house and a long ass front lawn. Info, are you neighbors with 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue? The G spot no one will find me there. No man at least. Hear the plan, we grab the car, go to mums, kill Phil. Sorry, Grablies, go to the Winchester, and have a nice pint until it's all blown over. I'd wait it out for a month, then go about life. Their muscles would deteriorate and animals would still obliterate them. Great. Now we have infected crows and vultures to deal with. Page 2 of Google search results. Someone said Google doesn't have pages anymore but I have never scrolled down far enough to check. I'm an NZ, so I'd boat to a particular uninhabited island with my fishing gear and hunting gear. This particular island also has goats, pigs and rabbits. Bruh please tell me the island. We can team up as I live in Hamilton. We'll supply some strawberry plants. North Sentinel Island. I can tell England is waking up now with all these the pub answers. Their references to Shaun of the Dead you and Cultivated Dullard.